So it'd be weird if we came to the best pool player in the world's club and didn't have a couple of games at pool. So we've played two or three frames. Um, I mean, there's every chance I might not get a shot, right? If you put one off the break and clear up. Yeah, that, that is so the... So we'll play alternate breaks. We'll so play alternate breaks. But that is the level of the game, especially yeah. at the top level. It almost becomes like your break is like the serve at tennis. You're supposed to hold break. Right, okay. If you make a ball, you're supposed to clear, really. Right, we'll show us. You're going to give us a master class later on how to break off, but let's, let's see it. Yeah, there's one, yeah. That's not, is that good? Well, it's not the nicest so, of layouts, no. That, so because you put one of each, you get to choose, right? Yeah, you get to choose anyway. So the rules right. are, as long as you make a ball, even if you potted five reds, you can still go yellows. Oh, can you? So this right. is just a complete open table. Okay, is that a good result or not? Well, no. Uh, no. When, when you make great. a couple of balls, you know, you sort of probably expect a little bit of an easier layout than that. <laughs> but I'm going to have to go reds because that's really okay. the only easy one I can pot. I mean, this, this, this would be a clearance. Yeah, obviously that, this, this one here doesn't go. Right. See, if that went, that would be the perfect breakable. And the thing with eight ball is the patterns are probably the most important part of the game. Right. And what I mean by the patterns is in which order you take the balls. Right, okay. It's not just potting that, the that's balls. That's where snooker players come up short. Yes, yeah. So in all, which order you take the balls is a huge skill within the game. Right. And especially when they're tricky like this, you know, you've got to sort of, it's, eight ball is almost like you break off and it's a puzzle. And yeah. you have to solve and that how, puzzle. And how would you learn that? It just, is that a natural thing or are you just by playing when, yeah, you, when you're Yeah, I young think and... some players are better than others right. in terms of they see the patterns differently and quicker. Right. Um, and it just comes obviously with practice yeah. and experience. Yeah. So what's the shot here? So I, I'm going to try and clip this one into the middle yeah. and basically run into this and try and disturb the other red with that. I mean, if you, the, even the position of the break, would you still fancy this? Fancy the here? Um, no, I mean, to be honest with you, when you know, I hit that break pretty good, yeah. I potted a couple of balls. so you would normally expect something a little bit easier than right, okay. how, how they're, how they're okay. set out. Right. Oh, that's no good, right? No, that's just got a little bit harder, although... You've got a plant. Have you? Oh, no, you can't get I to can't it. I can't get to it. So a couple of options. I can either almost play the cannon and try and pot it. Because that yellow's helping, so isn't it? So the yellow's helping, or I am pretty straight on the double. Right. But I have to screw it, I think. <laughs> I mean, that's a, from that position, that's a joke. That is a joke. I thought I was definitely getting to the table. Very impressive. Very impressive. But as, as eight ball goes, um, probably the two most important things which we're going to cover is yeah. the break and the patterns. So yeah. you can be, you know, the best potter in the world, but if you take the balls in the wrong order... You know, I don't know how to yeah, set, uh, set them up. If you take the balls in the wrong order, um, yeah. generally what you're trying to do is clear areas, leave breaker balls, leave balls where I can in that one, What's guaranteed. A breaker ball? So a breaker ball, for example, the last frame here where I said this ball doesn't go and yeah. it would be the perfect breakable, kickable into my bad ball. So okay. I'm leaving this one here to leave an angle, to cannon into this one. Yeah. But when I cannon into this one, I like to have other options because right. I don't only want to land on the ball I'm cannoning because you know a cannon yeah. can go wrong and go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where if I've got another ball as an option, so it doesn't matter where that one goes, I'm guaranteed to be okay. on another one. Okay. I'm starting with a whole new respect for pool. <laughs> I mean, for you, I mean, it's terrible. You're going to be caught in a Mickey Mouse game. I mean, it's totally ignorant. Mm. But I mean, yeah, when you, when you, when you realise the skill involved in what you just did there, I mean, it's... Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I didn't, couldn't see, I could not see you clearing up there. Right, so obviously I'm going to break off completely wrong. That's pretty good. Get them flush. Yeah, you've been practicing a bit, very for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm under pressure to do what you did. When they were a little bit tricky, obviously, yeah. this is exactly what I meant by you have to take the balls in the correct order. So yeah. all of the yellows have pockets here. I think you should go yellows. That's what I was going to say. What, what, would, what would you go? I think you should go yellows. They all have pockets. This one passes down here into here. So yeah. first thing is we don't have to disturb anything. Yeah. But we have to keep the cue ball under control because it's a little bit fiddly to get on the eight ball. Right, okay. First thing there, cue ball probably threw so much wider oh, yeah. than you were expecting. Yeah. Because it is the only cue sport in the world where the cue ball is. <laughs> and look how tiny this bot the cue ball uh, is. Yeah. So, I'm in trouble already, aren't I? 
I'm in trouble already. But because oh. of the light cue ball, you can manipulate angles from straight and it will fly back much quicker than you expect. It's dead straight. I'm thinking this is the one to go, but I don't. Yeah, well, if you clip that one in, I think you're going to come down and you probably think the cue ball is going to hit over here. It yeah. will come wider than you think. And I think okay. if you get the right pace, you'll land on this one. Okay. See how wide that's gone. Wow. Shot. Yeah, you say that, but where am I going next? Because of the angle you've got, mm, I'm not even sure. I was going to say drop it in and play the double and screw yeah. down, but the double's tight. I mean, you can't. I mean, if I play it force top spin, it'll bring that out. I'm not going to go. And, and no, and because of the t because of the light cue ball, what's going to happen is the cue ball. Off eight ball it, will it? It's going to jump back first before the rotation start and probably going off. Uh, what about coming back into bulk, landing on the cross double to get right. the cue ball down? So if anywhere on the handprint. Right. This is perfect. Right, it, That's perfect. For you, this so is the, unmissable, so right? The dead, the, 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 de the dead weight cross double. Well, it was too hard anyway, didn't it? There was, you, you was on it just. Um, so just one thing that the rules is, so here you've left me the perfect angle as my yeah. breaker ball to go into them. Yeah. At, at these rules, as long as I make my ball, it doesn't matter if you pot the other. It doesn't matter if I pot yours. Right. So going into this, it's just a case of get them out. Yeah. And actually I probably want the yellow in. It's just less traffic yeah. in the way. Yeah. Oh, I'm devastated. Absolutely devastated. Oh, he's not moved. He's not moved eight ball. That's a big target, right? Yeah, and again, I've got a couple of sort of nice breaker balls in the area, which is the first thing you would look for. Yeah, a ball to I mean, break. Are you happy with that cue ball? Um, well, it's not ideal, but it goes, and I can land somewhere here to hopefully land with an angle to one of these. Right. To, and again, as I said, when I'm playing a cannon, if I can get it early, yeah. I can into the eight ball. I'm guaranteed to be on this one or this one. So yeah, op options all the time. Oh, mind you, you're, you're not done any damage, have you? Is that no, right? so it was played where <laughs> I couldn't really uh, leave anything. This is, this is where, this is where even playing in, in the Chinese pool, I used to, safety used to do my brains in. If I couldn't put a ball, I was like, what do I do? Yeah, obviously, if you can't see that one, I almost want you to basically develop my problem. Yeah, have I got to hit a cushion? Or, or, or you have to hit a cushion after contact. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I just haven't got a shot. No, okay. uh, yeah, and what you would probably do here is not move this one, yeah. because at the minute it's the only thing that's obviously stopping me from potting the eight ball. Shot, yeah, so it asks the question, it gets it into play. <laughs> I mean, you're still a hot favourite to win this frame though, right? Yeah, so what I've done now is I've left the angle off the breaker ball yeah. to go into the eight ball, but knowing I still have this one. Yeah. Oh. Taxi. <laughs> Taxi for Hendry. Oh. I want to be behind that. Oh. You're just winding me up now. You're just like, so this is the light. kick shot. Oh. Can't be happy about that. Any, any case must be. You don't have to nominate pockets, do no, you? No, no, nominating. Shot. Decider. Decider. Mine, uh, well, mate, it's your break off in it, so. I don't know whether he deliberately wanted a decider there. Just so he could break off and clear up again. So, one of the other important things in 8 ball is making sure that the pack is racked properly. Right. Any gaps anywhere in the pack would right. mean the balls don't break properly. Oh, okay. So you want basically in an ideal world all 15 balls touching each other. Right. Wow. Oh. No friends. Oh. 
I don't know if I'm right here. I'm going to go yellow. Shot. Was it though? Are you on that one for the gap? No. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, just to trace a left hand side. So it's not really a swerve, just a bit of left. There we go. So just here as, a, yeah. as an option, the, yeah. the eight ball does go, but it's a little bit sort of intricate to get the cue ball. Yeah. As an option, the perfect angle is to screw into the red now. Right, okay. Well, so I, I was going to stand up here, but yeah, now yeah. you say that. Now yeah. you move the red, it basically makes, okay. obviously, the eight ball way more accessible. Like that. Shot. White's done me. This is going to throw wide. Don't know. Oh, he's played it perfectly. Nice. Hey, chance of beating pots on his own table. <laughs> He talked me into it. <laughs> he talked me into it. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't resist getting flash. I'm taking it as a moral victory anyway. It was a pretty good clearance, that though. <laughs> Why did I get sucked into that? Devastated. Oh. Thought I would have to play the double. Oh! No. He deserved it. He deserved yes. it. Oh no! Oh! oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank Cheers, you very mate. much. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs>